Krishan's accusations against her sister Tasiki spill over into episode two while Roly is ready to square up with Diamond the Body over some things that Diamond the Body had to say about Roly and her son on social media. Okay, you better believe we're going to talk about it all. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. You're watching the official Baddies Midwest After Show where we will be recapping each and every episode of the season each week here on the channel so if you're new here or you've been watching in the watchtowers as i like to say and maybe you haven't subscribed yet make sure you click the subscribe button so you never miss a beat all right also click that thumbs up button and like this video that helps me get into the youtube algorithm i'd really appreciate it the button is right down there join the conversation and get in the comment section leave me your thoughts and opinions on episode two and last but not least if you would like to donate or tip us creators in the description box below will be ways that you can um donate leave a donation um now that is not required you do not have to leave a donation obviously but um you can support for free by liking subscribing commenting sharing all that okay thank you guys i appreciate that um let's get into what are we on episode two? Ooh. Y'all, my hair looks a mess right now. I got to put some product in it. It's all over my head. That's why I got this hat on right now. Um, Let's get into episode two. Episode two is picking up where episode one left off. And the cliffhanger for episode one was Krishan telling her sister, you made me eat your pussy when we were kids. You made me eat your pussy when I was seven years old, right? Bombshell, mouth on the motherfucking floor, bitch. Everybody's like, what the fuck? Everybody's like, this has gone too far. Why are we watching these two sisters talk about such a crazy issue on this show? Now, granted, it happened. You know, it's not like Zeus put Krishan up to it and told her to say it. Um, so, I mean, that we know of, right? We don't know that. It's not like, I think Krishan said this on her own. However, Zeus chose to air it. They chose to air it, right? It's up to them to make the decision whether they aired it or not. Um, but I just don't think that we should be seeing it. I don't want to see it. It makes me feel icky. It makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel dirty. Like, if this is what really happened to you, Krishan, you guys need to take it to a therapist, not a motherfucking TV show, okay? Now, when Krishan says this to her sister, we see Tatsiki immediately turn her head and say, you said what? You said what? Huh? You said what? Now, Tasiki, in my opinion, tries to gaslight her sister, right? I feel like Tasiki is trying to gaslight her sister in this situation by saying, you're weird. Why would you say that? And at one point, she kept saying, what did you say? She kept asking Krishan to repeat herself over and over again. What did you say? I want to make sure I heard you clearly. What did you say? Pretending she doesn't know what Krishan is talking about. Tasiki's sister okay. is sitting there while these two are going back and forth and they're arguing Tasiki looks at her sister and says that Krishan says that this happened at Fleming Village which I guess is like a neighborhood um a housing complex an apartment complex some some sort of home back in Baltimore where they're from because this Fleming Village or whatever we heard last episode we heard it this episode uh, apparently this is where Krishan alleges that this happened when they were younger she Krishan alleges this is where Tasiki allegedly made her eat her coochie as she claims right I can't believe we're even talking about this like I can't believe in or six seasons in and this is where we've landed now Tasiki says she didn't hear what Krishan said right remember she kept saying what did you say what you she claims that she didn't hear um, she claims that she didn't hear what her sister says when Krishan says, you made me eat your pussy, even though you know what she said. We all know what Krishan said. Krishan said it loud and fucking clear. Um, but the in the same breath, Tasiki brings up Fleming Village. So I don't know. I feel like 
maybe Tasiki heard what Krishan said, but she was in shock that she said it, so she wanted her to repeat herself. Um, now, the part that gets me the most with this whole situation with Krishan bringing this up is that Tasiki says that she's never heard anything like this before. She's never heard Krishan say anything like this before until Tasiki became this popular. Okay? That's what she said. I've never heard you bring up anything like this until I became this popular. Insinuating that Krishan only made this up because her sister is gaining some success being on this show. Like, as if this is Krishan's way to take her sister down. Um, why would she, why would she not want you to win, Tasiki? And even on the show, Krishan says, I put you on. I introduced you to Zeus. Even though Tasiki denies it and says she didn't. We would not know of you, sis, if it wasn't for your sister, Krishan Rock. Come on, let's be real. And Krishan also clocked it and said, if I really didn't support you, if I really wasn't there for you, if I really didn't want you to be successful, why would I bring you on my show, Crazy in Love? Remember the two seasons, Blueface and Krishan, Crazy in Love? That's where I first met Latifah. That's where I first met Tasiki was on that show. And it seemed like she was living in her shadow, her sister's shadow, doing the most on that show. If you remember, we talked about it. Tasiki kept looking in the camera, looking in the camera every chance she got. She wanted to be famous so bad, living in her sister's shadow. And now she got what she wanted. She's got on TV. She's making her rounds. She's making a little bit of money. So now she thinks that Oh, my sister's making this up because I'm a star. My sister's just jealous that I'm a star now. And she's making up this lie on me. Girl, if you don't save it, Latifah. Because I really don't think anybody believes you at this point. Do any of y'all believe her? Be, feel free. Be yourself. Let your voice be heard. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Get in the comments and let me know who you believe. Are you believing Krishan or are you believing Tasiki? because my thing is how are you really twisting this Tasiki into that your sister is only mad because you're popular and you're on tv do you know how superficial do you know how just gross that sounds like really because your sister is the bigger star than you so if anybody was jealous of the popularity I feel like it would be you because when you and your sister go out guess who's getting recognized first it ain't no Latifah, I tell you that. The only Latifah that's getting recognized first is motherfucking Queen Latifah, bitch. Krishan Rock is getting recognized first when you two go out. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, toot toot ride the Krishan Rock train and just like be the biggest cheerleader of her. But I like I was trying to be unbiased with these two girls because neither of them are my favorite. Um, but I kept siding with Krishan in this situation because it seemed like Krishan was the one that was trying to move forward. But Tasiki was being very childish. She was being very just like um, backpedaling a lot, beating around certain things. Krishan asked her, do you want to move forward or not? Like I told y'all last week, you could see in the first episode that Krishan did not want to bring up the fact that Tasiki allegedly tried to get Krishan to eat her coochie when they were kids, right? You could tell she didn't want to bring it up, but Tasiki kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And um, I also feel like this is why... I feel like Krishan probably has some animosity towards Tasiki that she hasn't forgiven her from the childhood stuff. And it also makes me wonder, is this why Krishan was so easily to let her sister get jumped last season? Is this why she set up her she set her sister up to have her jumped by her friends? Because maybe Krishan doesn't look at Tasiki like a sister anymore. I don't know. I feel like there's so much to unpack here and there are so many layers that we really can't talk about it all in one video. Now, when Krishan asked her sister, look, do you want to move on or not? Here's how you could tell that Latifah really don't give a shit. She says, no, she don't want to move on. She don't want to move on, right? And she says that if Krishan didn't have the baby, she would do what she's supposed to do, which I guess means put her hands on her, eat her, eat her, as she calls, you know, how she says she eats, she's the eater. Maybe she's going to eat her sister up and not in the way that Krishan alleges that she ate her up, but... <laughs> I digress. Now, 
Krishan says she's not here for that, right? She's not here for the fighting. Now, Krishan could be putting on an act. Krishan could be putting on this holier-than-thou act for all we know. Um, but she says she doesn't have time for this. And she's trying to handle her probation. She's trying to handle her legal fees, deal with her lawyers, get all of her legal stuff situation. Which props to her for being an adult. She could be putting on an act for us. But anybody that's putting effort to be a better person, trying to be sober, trying to handle their business. A plus, in my opinion. Okay, because it's, it's hard out here, bitch. It's hard out here. But now, Krishan, when Blueface get out of jail, sis, when Blueface get out of jail, we better not, don't, you better not go back to that bullshit. Because something tells me when he get out of jail, it's going to be back to the same old bullshit. And I don't know why, but Taseki just reads guilt to me. Like, I feel like she comes off guilty to me. Like, yes, if you were accused of something like this by a family member, um, you'd be pissed too. But I don't feel like she's not helping herself because she's just kind of overdoing it. It's just like a lot. I, I, I don't know. I feel like if that were me and, and someone said that to me and, I, and it wasn't true, I would laugh. I would laugh in your fucking face and be like, you're a dirty, disgusting bitch. Bye. I'm not doing it. Right? I'm not going to sit here and keep like, how dare you, bro? Like, if it's not true, it's not true. It's not true. And you can go handle it legally if you you know, if you, that's what she says she wants to do. She's going to handle it legally and she's going to send Krishan to jail for defamation. Okay, that's what she that's what she claims. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Now Taseki brings up that Krishan was drinking while pregnant one night while her and Taseki, while they were hanging out. Uh Krishan denies it and says that she wasn't. Um now Krishan now here's the thing, a lot of people were like including myself, was like Krishan, now you know you was drinking while you was pregnant with that baby. You know you was smoking when you was pregnant with that baby. Let's keep it all the way a motherfucking hundred. We talked about it here on the show. You know, we we, we saw you doing it. It was on Crazy in Love as well. Like, it's, it's out there, my love. So you can't deny that. Now, the only thing I can maybe defend her with is that she is... Krishan is denying a particular situation. She, she didn't. I don't think she ever said that she didn't drink or smoke with her baby. I think she's saying that the the the, the instance that Tasiki is referring to that she wasn't smoking or drinking. That's what I think she was trying to say. I could be wrong. I'm, I could be wrong. Um, now I'm on your side, Krishan. I'm on your side with this situation. But when you're wrong, you're wrong. And one thing you was wrong about was the way you smoked and drank with that baby. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. You can't change it. And I'm glad that you're doing what you can moving forward to change your life. But we ain't going to get on this TV screen out like you didn't. Now, Tasiki's ego is out of control. Okay, I don't know who told this girl that she was Aaliyah um, because during this sit down with her sister while she's talking to Krishan, she keeps saying that she's a star and she's so busy now and like alluding to that people are jealous of her and coming after her because she's so successful now and she's this star and she can't trust anybody. And, you know, she says, I have to rest because I can't be doing this, my vocal cords. And it's like, girl. Now, don't get me wrong. I've gave Tasiki her props, and I've said that she's an amazing singer. And I said that I said Tasiki shouldn't be doing this show. I said that she would be better outside of this show, strictly focusing on her music career. But I know why she does the show. The show is a platform to get her music career out there. But Tasiki, we haven't heard anything from you. Why do I know more Biggie's music than you do? If you're a serious musician, where are the songs? Why are you not pumping the songs out? Why are you not in clubs every night performing the songs? Like I like I, maybe she is and her voice is amazing, but I've not heard anything. How is your sister who doesn't even claim to be a musician really? I know more of your sister's music than I know yours. So what do you mean you have to go rest your vocal cords? Now, Miss Shavante, 
whoever Shavante is, I, I forgot who they said she was. She's something affiliated or related to the sisters. I don't know if she's their cousin. I don't know if she's another sister. I don't know if she's a family friend or what. But Shavante is there on the sidelines right by the cameraman. And Krishan kind of brings her in the conversation. And she says, you know, Shavante, have you ever seen me and Krishan fight? Have you ever seen us physically fight before? And Shavante's like, no. And then... Miss Shavante, who keep in mind her face is blurred, right? She wants her face blurred, but she has no problem butting in this conversation, hooping and hollering, being loud, trying to, you know, get a moment. You wanted to be on TV so bad. You wanted to be involved in this, you know, even though Tasiki asked her the question. You kept going, sis, and you got involved and you was, you know, trying to do the most. She was trying to check Krishan because she tells Krishan, um, you know, that she blames Krishan for bringing stuff like this on television. She's like, you know, this whole situation with your sister, you should have never brought it up on camera. And I'm not going to lie. I do agree with that to an extent because this is, like I said, it's too much for us as viewers to be seeing. And I feel like it should be something worked out with a therapist. Um, who am I to judge? And Krishan also said that this is the problem with families, particularly black families, that they don't talk about situations. They brush it under the rug, right? So, um, you know, if this is where Krishan wanted to let it all out, maybe it was just the timing, the, maybe the timing and the place was just off. I don't think that Krishan intentionally said, I'm going to reveal this on the show to take my sister down. I don't think that's what happened at all. I think that Tasiki was picking and poking and prodding. Why did you get me jumped? Why do you treat me this way? Why, why, why? I'm the victim. I'm the victim. And Krishan was like, you know what? I've got all this animosity towards you because of this right here. Now, another thing that we learned this episode, we learned some things on this episode, um, a, a few things. One of them was that Krishan almost got, um, I don't know if this word will get flagged or not, but A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N, when a woman is pregnant and she terminates the pregnancy. Um, we learned that Krishan almost did that with Krishan Jr., just a, just a little interesting fact. Now, Tasiki tells Krishan, you know... I think it really bothers Krishan. I mean, I think it really bothers Tasiki when Krishan tells her, I put you on. I helped you out. I got I introduced you to Zeus, right? Because Tasiki says, Krishan, you can have this TV shit. You can have it. Um, but it's like, girl, baby, you know you love the TV shit. You love it. And that's okay, as you should. And like Krishan says, you know, this TV stuff. She helped get her sister out the hood. Because another thing we learned was not only did Krishan almost, you know, terminate her pregnancy with Krishan Jr., we see Krishan tell her sister, you know, I helped get Tasiki out of the situation she was in. She was in the strip club. She was selling pussy. Allegedly. This is what Krishan said, not me. She said that her sister was in the strip club. Her sister was selling pussy. And that she came along and said, look, I'm, come get on this show. I can get you some money. I can get you out this situation that you in. And listen, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, do you do you want it held over your head? No, absolutely not. Um, but when you got a sister saying that, oh, no, you didn't help me. The boss man recognized my talent and who I was. It's like, girl, no, please stop telling that lie. Like, take that lie, put it back in your mouth and swallow it. Now, Taseki gets emotional and starts crying and says, you know, why would you say that I would do some stuff like that to you? I think Taseki is just kind of like, from the moment Krishan exposed that information, we see her kind of just spiraling a little bit. I think she's just shocked. She's embarrassed. She's angry. She's sad. So she's kind of like all over the place with her emotions. At one one moment, she's upset with Krishan. The next minute, she's sad and she's crying to Krishan. The next minute, she's angry and, you know, cursing at her. So um, 
she's upset and she doesn't understand, she says. And she calls Krishan a monster and walks out. I think she's just, like I said, embarrassed and caught off guard. I don't think she thought the scene was going to go out that way. I don't think she thought that her sister was going to expose this to the world. So she gets up. She walks out. She's she's embarrassed. Um, do I think Tasiki is a monster? I don't know that. But listen, I do know this. Kids do dumb shit, okay? And this is not a justification or an excuse for Tasiki by no means. By no means. But I do know that kids do dumb shit. We've all done some dumb weird shit when we were kids, right? Um, for me, I remember, and I think I've told this story before. I remember when I was young, I remember going in like, like I went to my mom's friend's house once. My mom, I went to my mom's friend's house with her. And my mom and her friend were hanging out in the living room, whatever. Smoking a joint, I think. Um, and me and my mom's friend's son at the time, we were probably five, six, seven, eight, nine, some somewhere between five and ten. And we would get in the closet in his bedroom and just like do shit, like touch each other, get naked, little just weird shit, you know? And I can remember doing that. Um and I can remember doing little things as a kid, you know, with other kids and things like that. Now I never did anything with my brother gag puke throw up disgusting and, and the thought of it just makes me want to hyperventilate um but that's why i'm saying like i'm not justifying what tessiki did now i would like for her if this really happened for her to be honest and maybe we can get her side of the story and because here's the thing if it happened to Siki, just be real and say you know what I, I don't really remember recall how it happened or tell your side and say look i was a kid it was fucked up i shouldn't have done it Maybe y'all seen some stuff as kids that made you exhibit this behavior. I don't know. But if it happened, acknowledge your sister's pain behind the scenes with a therapist. Acknowledge her pain and move past it. But she's got a willing to be, she's got a willing, she's got to be willing to be truthful, right? Because at the end of the day, I still don't think Krishan just made this up. She's been alluding to this for a few years now, right? Now, Tzatziki goes outside. She leaves, and she's trying to cool off. We see that Jayla, Ani, Ani, <laughs> Jayla, Anna, Roly, Scotty, and Natalie are sitting outside. They ask Tzatziki if she's okay, and, you know, she's upset. She's like, no, Krishan's going to jail for defamation of character because I got long money. I got long money, and it's like, baby girl, first of all, as we've discussed before, let's, let's, do, a little, let's do a little quick uh, legal lesson. Defamation of character is a civil issue, okay? It's a civil issue. It's almost like if you say, oh, my God, my friend stole my thousand dollar pair of shoes out of my bedroom or my friend did this okay where like i guess prove it or it's a civil issue right like you know what i'm saying maybe that's a criminal issue when you share when you steal a pair of shoes either way either way defamation of character is not a criminal issue it's civil and Tessiki would have to take her sister to court. And even then, you still have to... Defamation cases are hard to win. You got to prove that the person defamed your name so much that it affected your business, it affected your family, it affected your finances. You know what I'm saying? And um, if... Is it defamation if it's Krishan's truth? Is that defamation if that is what she says happened to her as a child? Now, Tasiki tells the girls, she tells all the girls out there that she's talking to, I don't know what y'all did to her, talking about Krishan, I don't know what y'all did to her, but it's hurting her so much that I'm here right now. It's hurting her so much that I'm on y'all's TV screen. It's something about me being here and being on this TV screen. Tasiki, stop trying to flip this fucking narrative that your sister is jealous that you're on the show. Why is why why are you trying to spin that? Krishan brought you on Crazy in Love. Do you not remember? Do you not think that we didn't see that as the viewers? If Krishan didn't if Krishan didn't want you to be on TV, she wouldn't have had you on Crazy in Love, baby. If Krishan wouldn't have had you on TV, do you think she would have introduced you to Lemmy and the Zeus Network? Because you didn't get that connection on your motherfucking own i can't sit here and deal with the bullshit
Because that's the shit I be talking about. People be playing in your motherfucking face. And then when you act the motherfucking fool, you the crazy one. Because see, if that was me, I would be like, why are you sitting up here and playing me? Why are you sitting up here and acting like I'm a liar and playing me for a motherfucking fool when you know I introduced you to this network? When you know I put your motherfucking ass on? Is this the thanks that I get for putting you bitches on? Is it my thought that all of you bitches are gone? You should have sent a thank you note, you little hoe. Now I'm going to wrap your coffin with a bow. Krishan, you just, or, uh, Krishan, she just mad that you took the spot. Word, she just mad that you took the spot. Well, bitch, if you ain't shitting, then get off the pot. I got some bitches out in Brooklyn that are off your top. <laughs> Any chance to rap a Nicki Minaj lyric, bitch? I'm there. Okay. So yeah, I guess Tasiki is jealous of her sis, or I guess Krishan is jealous of her sister's newfound fame. Now Tasiki starts crying, starts playing the victim. And she says, um, she's like, I feel like everybody uses me. She's crying, talking to the girl. Everybody uses me. Oh, I've got this fame and fortune now. And everybody uses me for my fame. And blah, 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 blah. Like, girl, please, please. Who is using you? And who is Petey? Who is Petey? Because we heard Krishan say on the episode tonight that she says, uh, Tasiki said this and that. We was kids. She said. Referring to her and Petey. Whoever her and Petey are. I don't know. Anyway. She says. Krishan tells her other sister. I'm trying to celebrate my new show. God's Plan. Which I meant to do a video on by the way. If y'all didn't know that. I'm sure you may already know that Krishan. Um was greenlit another show on Zeus, which I think is probably like for a, a first for the network. I think she's the first Zeus network star to get two spinoff shows. Um, this is her newest spinoff show. It'll be called God's Plan. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be... I don't know if this new rock is an act, okay? I don't know if this is all an act, but I'm like, who is this girl? Who is this girl? She's telling Tasiki, or no, not Tasiki, her other sister that's there. Because you know if you watch the episode that Krishan and Tasiki's other sister is also there. She seems like the quiet one of the group, of the sisters. Um, their other sister is there and Krishan is confiding in her, venting to her about what just happened. And she tells her sister, how am I supposed to look honorable if I lose control on my sister? How am I supposed to do fellowship with the other girls if I'm acting out a certain way and I'm like who is this and what did you do with Krishan Rock's body did Wo Vicky get to Krishan on Baddies East <laughs> y'all remember when Wo, Wo Vicky was on there praising Jesus and she told uh she told Rock God bless you and Rock about knocked her upside to him is this an act, Krishan? I hope this is not an act. I hope you... I don't think you would play with God like that, man. Now, one thing I didn't like that Krishan did, I don't agree with, is that she alluded to one of Tzatziki's children being harmed, pretty much. I don't know what kind of way the child was harmed. I don't know, but Krishan says, quote, while talking to her other sister quote i could say what happened to her son why would i do that we got to protect our kids and it's like too late now krishan too late you you when you say something like that when you throw that out there like you threw that out there it leaves the imagination and the mind to wander right it leaves people an open-ended space to make up whatever they want to make up that happened to Tasiki's child, allegedly, right? You should have never said that. Leave the nieces and the nephews out of it. Like, Tasiki's children are not on TV. I just didn't like that. Um, and now it's like, you know, you're saying, I could say what happened to her son, but I'm not, I'm not going to do it. So now it's leading everybody, like, to say, well, what happened to her son? You know, it, it, one can only assume what it was, but 
Now, this is also where Krishan is confiding in her sister and, and says, you know, Tasiki was a stripper that sold pussy and that she got her out of the hood. I said, whoo, child. Ooh, when the sick you see that, baby, that one's going to sting. Could you imagine if you heard your sister tell on TV talking to your other siblings say she was a stripper who sold pussy and I helped her get out the hood? And do I believe it? Absolutely. But I don't think it's to be announced to the world. I don't think you should publicly shame your sister like that. But listen, I'm not in their shoes. I don't know what goes on in the Malone household. All right. Now, Krishan also drops another bomb. That's why I told y'all we learned quite a few things this episode. And another thing we learned is that Tesiki is currently dating or messing around with, sleeping with, whatever, according to her sister. Tasiki is allegedly messing around with their sister's ex-man. The sister that's there on this episode. Clock that T, right? The sister that's there, the one that's quiet, the one that I told y'all that's probably the quiet sister, the one that Krishan is venting to. Krishan looks at her and says, and we didn't even say nothing about how she's been sleeping around with your ex-man. Bitch, what? We need... Okay, on, on on Krishan's God's Plan show, we need the sister involved. We need Tzatziki involved. I want the mama involved. I want the daddy involved, the brother. I want the whole family involved. Because, baby, we got a show. We got a show, okay? And then I'm thinking about it. I'm like, damn, you fucking on your sister's man, allegedly, Latifah. Is that how you get down, Latifah? It would not shock me if you was that kind of girl. I'm just saying. And I believe Krishan on that too. About Tasiki sleeping around with her sister's man. Because the sister was sitting right motherfucking there when she said it. And the sister didn't deny it. Didn't say a word. Silence is motherfucking complicity. Silence is validation in my opinion. Now, the sister, in the sister's defense, she does ask Krishan to stop. She's like, please stop. You know, this is on, the cameras are here. This is on TV. And I, I get it, you know, because ultimately, now, that you know, a month or two later after this has been filmed, now that it's airing, it's going to destroy their family. It's going to put cracks in their family's foundation. And we know that they already don't have a strong foundation as a family. They, You know, they've had a tumultuous history and a tumultuous past. As a family, we've heard them talk about that, but now it's like this. Could you imagine if this was your family and you saw it on TV? It would be mortifying. It would be. It's like why would why are y'all talking about this on television and why is nobody handling it behind the scenes through a therapist, through the family talking to someone? Krishan says that instead of t instead of Tasiki talking to her, she feels like Tasiki was talking to the audience. The cameras putting on a show, putting on an act, a facade, right? Now, we hear Krishan continue to confide in her other sister, and she says that her and Tasiki would play house as kids. And once she grew up, she realized that they should have never been playing house all along. And then she realized that it was wrong what they were doing. She says that she protected her sister as long as she could. Now, my thing is, how long did this go on? Was this a one-time thing? Which, that wouldn't make it right. But I'm just makes me wonder. Like, I'm, I'm wondering, did this go on for years? How old was Latifah when she did this? Because we know that she's a few years older than Rock. Because if she was 11, 12, 13, 14 years old doing this, you knew better. Okay? You knew better. And I'm not excusing a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9-year-old doing that. But I feel like when you are in those ages of five, six, seven, eight, nine, and maybe you've, you know, came up on a Playboy magazine, or maybe you, you know, you caught your, your mom or your dad's porno tape was, you, you found it and you played it, or you, you know, whatever, you got access to something and it made you wonder. Whatever the case may be, I want to know. I got questions, okay? And I hope at the reunion they do justice and ask the questions that need to be asked. Now that we're opening this can of worms. Now, 
the girls fly to Detroit. They leave Oklahoma City or or Tulsa, Oklahoma, and they fly to Detroit. We see Natalie meet up with Diamond the Body. We see her meet up with Scotty. Akbar ends up joining them. Jaden Alexis comes in and joins them. Um, so we you know some new girls are in the group. Akbar says that what she likes about Jaden Alexis is that Jaden doesn't give too much if not needed. And I can agree with Akbar on that, right? I told y'all that I watched an interview with Jaden and I really liked her. I thought she was humble and cool and personable. And what Akbar said, I actually agree with. I like that about Jaden. She didn't come in trying to be that bitch. She didn't come in attacking nobody. She didn't come in thinking of shit don't stink. Jaden is who she is. She's honest about it she says that she's known as Blueface's baby mama and she doesn't do the most I appreciate that finally somebody who is authentic somebody who is fucking authentic and not trying to be like the next girl thank you Jaden um, Natalie tells Diamond the body to be prepared when she sees Roly right because Diamond the body told Roly online to don't play with her play with your kids bitch and Roly was not feeling it, okay? Now, Diamond the Body, on the other hand, says, well, wait a minute. Roly started this shit first. She says that Roly started it first by saying that Diamond the Body does not deserve a baddie's chain because all she did was clout chase all season long and troll. Now, Diamond is trying to downplay this, like, well, she did this, and I did this, and well, it's it. And, Di and Natalie says, you talked about her son, Diamond. It's over. It's up. It's stuck. Now, do I think that Diamond talked about Roly's son? No, she didn't. She didn't say anything directly about her son. But we hear in the episode, Roly says, you don't have to say anything about my son. But if you let the word son roll off your lips, I don't care what you say. I'm coming after you, right? We all know you don't have to directly say anything about anybody's children. But the moment you say your son, your daughter, your kids, your th it's up and it's stuck. We know that. I don't have a child to know i don't have to have a child to know that i have no children but i know if i say your son your daughter your kids somebody gonna be ready to, to knock my head off right now was natalie going for like a goth punk look did y'all see her confessional she had this like ruby red hair and then she had this black ensemble on that was like ripped and shredded with bobby pins and safety pins in it and chains and then like uh like uh fishnets on her arm like it just looked very goth and punk i have nothing wrong with the look i didn't mind the look at it and it wasn't a problem for me um i was just wondering if she was going for like a goth look a punk look now um we see another scene with Anna, Jayla, Biggie, Roly, and Tasiki. They get to Detroit and they meet up to chat and talk. Anna, you know, she mentions that, you know, there's going to be new girls joining them. And she says one of the new girls she has beef with. And apparently the girl that she has beef with is the one that snuck Mariah at the auditions. I think, is it Bad Dolly? I don't remember the girl's name, but the girl that Mariah is, the girl that's going to end up beating Mariah's ass next week is the one who snuck Mariah at the audition. Ain't that some shit? They hired the one that snuck Mariah and they fired Mariah. And even Anna said that. She said, I can't believe y'all casted the bitch who snuck Mariah. I'm like, I can because that's Messy Zeus Network. Okay. Now, while they're sitting there talking, Jayla asked Tasiki, you know, I know things didn't go great with you and your sister. Uh, I know things didn't go great with you and your sister back in um, Oklahoma. Do you want to talk about it, right? Tasiki says that she doesn't think her and Krishan are going to ever get anywhere. Notice how Tasiki never told the girls what Krishan said. Did y'all peep that? I was waiting on her to bring it up and tell the girls what was said because as of now, I don't think Natalie, Scotty, Scotty Rowley, Jayla, any of them know what Krishan alleged, right? I don't think Tasiki wants them to know. I wouldn't want anybody to know that somebody said that about me, that kind of accusation. Now, Anna chimes in while Tasiki is talking about her sister, and Anna says, she did that shit on TV. That's the problem. I don't know what Anna was referring to. I'm like, is she referring to what Krishan said? 
Because if she is referring to that, then the girls do know what Krishan said. But Anna could have been referring to something else. Here's my problem. The problem is, Anna, here you go butting in these two sisters' business. You and Biggie already wanted to go and, and be a part of the dinner with Tzatziki. Y'all wanted to show up at this dinner with Krishan, but Krishan said she, she, that she didn't want you guys there. So now you're chiming in talking about she shouldn't have done it on TV. Now let me tell you something, Anna. When Krishan dragged your ass up and down that stage at that reunion, I don't want to hear it. Don't play the victim. Don't talk about my my jaw. I can't do it. Or, oh, injured reserve. Like, girl, you play the you throw your hand. You 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 throw. What's the saying? You throw the rocks and then you hide your hand. Get in the paint, sis. When Krishan is ready to mop your ass, get in the paint. Okay. We see Tasiki get emotional while sitting there talking to the girls. And then Roly ends up getting emotional. And Roly and Tasiki bond over how they both feel like they're doing the most for everyone else when everyone else treats them like shit. They feel like they're both providing for their families and doing this and doing that when their family is not giving them anything in return, right? Um... So, you know, that was a nice moment to see the girls bond. We don't ever, I feel like Tasiki and Roly and Scotty and Jayla and Natalie, they're all bonding because they've been filming this show together for the last two years, three seasons, you know. So they've really become close. They've really become like this sisterhood because, you know, when Baddie stops filming, they pick up. When the, when the show stops, when, when Baddie stops airing, they pick up and start filming again, you know? So they're always filming, and they're always together, they're always at events together. I think they got really close, so it was it was nice seeing Tasiki and Roly kind of have this vulnerable, raw moment, especially considering how last year, you know, Tasiki was talking about, Roly, you shouldn't be fighting on a mat, because y'all are in two different weight classes. Y'all remember that bullshit? Um... Now, can somebody explain to me what the hype is on on this graba? Because I hear the girls, you know, they're smoking some weed during one of the during the episode, and one of the girls is like, "Is that graba?" And I've heard them talk about this graba before when they were in Jamaica or somewhere last season. Uh, Biggie was buying it, and apparently, it's like a a, a leaf that you, like a wrap that you roll your weed in. Uh, I don't know, but I'm, I want to hear from y'all on that. Does anybody know what Graba is? Have you tried it? Um, can you explain like what the hype is? Should I try it? Cause y'all know I like to partake every now and then. Um, now let's talk about this mixer. Natalie is hosting this baddies, um, meat and mixer, Thing in Detroit with the girls where all the girls can come together and meet one another before they hit the road and go on this tour. Um, that's when, you know, most of the girls are there. They're all chilling. They're all talking. And we see Diamond the Body walk in, right? Diamond the Body comes in and right off the bat, Roly walks up to Diamond the Body and she's like, let's go, Diamond. She wants to fight. Roly is upset over this comment that Diamond the Body made. If y'all hear hollering, my niece is here. My baby niece is here. Um, so Roly versus Diamond the Body. Now let's get into it. Round one, baby. Round one, I'll have to give that to Diamond. I thought Roly was gonna take both rounds home, but we see that in the first round it looked like Diamond the Body had more licks. It looked like more of her licks connected than Roly's did. Seemed like she got the best of Roly in that first round. In that second round, I have to give it to Roly. If you watch both rounds, each girl got a fair number of licks in each round. One, or I'm sorry, each, if you watch it back, one girl got more licks than the other in each round. Round one, I give it to Diamond the Body. Round two, I give it to Roly. Okay, and I can't believe I'm saying that because usually Roly be, you know, pouncing on these hoes. Um, but you know, that's pretty much it for the episode. Now, next week, we see that, that the new girls, we get to meet them. They're going to be coming in the house. They're going to be, you know, getting in the mix of things. We see Automat get her ass handed to her by one of these new girls that she has beef with. The one that snuck Mariah Lynn at the auditions. So, that will be interesting to watch. I'm excited to see that. Now, I do one thing I don't like that I noticed in next week's sneak peek is that they're kind of doing like they did in Baddie's West. 
I mean, Batty's uh, East, when they had the House A and the House B and were separating the girls. Because we see that the new girls are constantly separated next week. They're on separate sprinter vans. You know, they're in separate rooms. And I'm just like, can we please not do that this season? Can we please cohabitat, co-mingle, have the girls together, not have it like these upper echelon, floozy, bougie girls over here. And then having the new girls down here like they're less than you know i just don't want to see it how do y'all feel about that how do y'all feel about that i know like this is why y'all don't need 30 girls zeus it would be easier if you didn't cast 30 girls okay look join the conversation i want to hear all your thoughts and opinions what do you think about this whole krishan and taseki of it all i need to hear your thoughts and opinions and who do you think won round one and two between diamond the body and roly and whose side are you on, Roly or Diamond the Body? Leave me your thoughts and opinions. I want to hear it all. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click that subscribe button. Also, click that thumbs up button and like this video. That helps me get into the YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to leave a donation, you can help us grow and sustain this channel by leaving a donation by getting in the description box below. Down there below in the description box, click that and that will give you... Uh, detailed instructions on how you can donate using paypal cash app venmo or zelle i'll also post my amazon wish list for those that choose to take that route thank you so much for watching and being here um i appreciate you so so much we will see you next time on damien after dark okay love y'all